Welcome back. It is officially update day in LEGO Fortnite, basically our first major update that we've gotten to this game, and I am here to share everything with you. And spoiler alert, it's not what you might think. We have a whole list of patch notes that I'm gonna be going through with you guys today and also giving my opinions on some of the things because I have a lot of opinions. First off, when I joined my world for the first time this morning, I opened my map and immediately was excited to check out the new biome and all of the new resources. I went to my crafting bench and that's when I realized there is not a single new item in the entire crafting bench. You can't upgrade your crafting bench and there was, uh, there, there was nothing there. Anyway, don't worry because there are still some good things including a new item in the toy section which is called the launch pad i actually already have one over there in my world so let me go ahead and show you that and here it is so the launch pad looks like this and hang on let's make sure this doesn't get broken by a roller Okay, so the launch pad looks like this, and actually the title of these patch notes are Go Up, Up, and Away with Launch Pads. So you would think that the launch pads would be pretty useful, right? Well, let me go ahead and show you what they do. That's it. Now, obviously, I have a glider in my inventory, and if you guys have been watching the channel, you'll know that I'm a huge advocate of this flying method that basically takes all of the stamina loss away. You can fly for very extended periods of time by just swinging your pickaxe, tapping your glider, so on and so forth. But yeah, unfortunately, the launch pad on its own isn't the greatest, but I do have a solution that I made in sandbox mode that I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now. So we made it over here to sandbox mode, and I am showing you exactly what I meant by what I said in the last clip. As you can see, if you just put a bunch of launch pads down, oh, okay, maybe I didn't do it perfectly, but as you can see, if you just go up a bunch of different launch pads and you have a glider equipped, then you can go pretty high up. Along with this, if you use a pickaxe in your inventory as well and do the flying method, at this point, it's probably the best way to move around the map and you have to make a bunch of launch pads and build up super high. So keep that in mind. It's gonna be super expensive and this game got a lot harder. I'm not gonna lie. But at the end of the day, that's basically all we can do at this point. So yeah. Okay, and I spent a lot of time talking about the launch pad because that's probably the biggest change that we have. But now let's talk about probably the worst change, which is the item that I'm holding in my hand right now, the grapple, which has been the nicest thing. Let's be real. Everyone's been doing the grapple refresh glitch where you put it in a chest, take it out, and it has 30 shots. I'm sure you already know what I'm about to say, but as you can see, I now have one shot after trying to refresh it. And yeah, it doesn't work anymore. You can no longer refresh a grapple. And in my opinion, grapples are now no longer worth it. I mean, you have to cook three copper bars, you have to get blast powder and 10 cores which is 50 vines that you have to put in the wheel spinner and you're basically gonna lose it as soon as you make it unless you're very conservative with the amount of shots you use that's unfortunately the biggest loss in the update in my opinion i mean in the first paragraph of the update they're saying that they made things even easier when it comes to building and in my personal opinion don't take this as fact but i think that it's the opposite and it's actually going to be a lot harder to build things i definitely relied on the grapple and i'm sure a lot of you guys did and i'm super far away from either bases as well which i mean it's just going to be harder to do a lot of things Things. Sounds like I'm complaining. At the end of the day, we're going to get used to it because what else are we going to do? But I'm always going to give my honest opinion of these things as they come along. And I hope that we get new changes in the future that help. But again, there's still a lot of good changes to go over. So let's get to those. So jumping straight into the patch notes, which I'll have linked below if you want to take a look for yourself. You can see that now when you place a build, any small bushes, rocks, or plants will be removed. And while I do appreciate this update, I was a little confused as to how that works considering I believe this is a plant, but I can't really place things around it if I try it with other plants it doesn't work or if i'm in this section i don't know assuming it's in your guys's world that is a good change one thing that i can confirm that they did do is add more building parts as you can see if i scroll through here i have a ton of new notifications for building parts which is very exciting pieces like this six by two floor are going to be super super useful especially if you mess up every once in a while with the sizing of things it'll be nice to be able to fill in the gaps with these new pieces that we have so again more stuff to basically fill out some gaps that you might have in your build and they also just allow for more customizability when it comes to your custom builds you can now abandon a build in progress, meaning that any sort of prefab that you put down, you can abandon at any time. It used to have that blue glow next to it, so it seemed like you had to carry on with the build, but now you can actually abandon it and start customizing these prefabs, which is pretty cool. They've noted that snapping mode got a little bit better, and they've added more points that you can snap to with every single build, meaning that you should be able to snap things in every single place a little bit easier. If we come over here to our village, the next thing they did is a very good change. If you go over to the actual village square itself, there's a new option to to actually remove the village from your world, which I'm not gonna do with this one right now, but you could. Meaning that if you accidentally place a village square in the wrong spot, now you can actually just come over here and remove it instead of breaking it and having all sorts of glitches and being able to not place another one. Oh my, 
Wait, that's one of the new villagers right there, which was actually the next thing I was going to get to. They added three new villagers to the game, one of which being Tomato Head. Pretty cool that we already have him. Oh yeah, there's no bed. Let me see if I can get a bed real quick. Okay, and we got ourselves a bed. So let's get Tomato Head to our village. This is kind of fun. I'm guessing that he's pretty common if he showed up here already, but new NPCs are definitely a good addition. And there are three. There's Bush Ranger, Rustler, and Tomato Head. I already thought Rustler was in the game, but I guess not. Anyway, on the topic of good changes, if we break Tomato Head's bed right Right away and we go over to him we can talk to him and now there's actually an option to kick him out of the village which before you would have to just wait five days and cross your fingers that they would disappear so very positive change there i'm gonna keep tomato head's bed though because i don't want him to leave just yet chests have been improved with better loot especially from fighting enemies and solving puzzles i tested this one out i was still getting seeds and stuff that I don't really need from chests, but they said they've improved them, so maybe you guys will notice that change. Blasters have wandered out of their caves and can be found in deserts, making blast cores much easier to obtain. W change. I already found one in my desert biome, and I think that's going to make things much easier. You can actually get rid of items by throwing them in a campfire, which is something that I haven't tested, so let's try that out right now. We've got our three pieces of wood. We'll throw down our campfire. Also, there's now an option to extinguish the campfire. That's pretty cool. I didn't read that in the patch notes yet, but that's a nice addition. I don't know why I would ever do that, but it's cool that you can anyway let's throw something into there oh it's on fire so it looks like there's a tiny holding period where you can actually pick up the item otherwise it looks like eventually it disappears great change they've added a legend to the map so now if you open the map you see respawn backpack and caves which you can't zoom out on your map all the way still it's definitely nice that they added more markers and those are not the only markers if you've ever played battle royale you'll know that there's a great pinging system and as you can see now you can ping things however you would like in game this is very useful for traveling and marking locations to oh I accidentally just shot my grapple and now it's gone. Rest in peace, grapple. But like I was saying, it's definitely useful if you have different items or places you want to be able to get back to super easily. So overall, that's a great change. Also, if you go to a villager and you assign them a job of smelting metals, they'll actually do it now. I would assume that means they're able to make you copper and iron bars, which is going to be an absolute huge change as well. Outside of gameplay changes, though, there's a few different cosmetic changes. They've added a lot more styles to the game. So if you have a bunch of Fortnite skins, go ahead and check them out. I'm sure some of them will have new Lego styles. And if you're buying any new New skins use code Kaz. those are the main updates i've given my opinion on a lot of them but there's still a ton more to get through so i'm gonna stop yapping i'm just gonna read every single one rapid fire and once i'm done i'll talk more about all of them but here we go so you can now eat while moving you'll no longer pick up tools off the ground accidentally that you don't want which is a good change crossbow arrows now have slightly lower speed and a more natural arc so they basically have bullet drop they added the ability to ping locations in the world which we already covered depositing items into chests will now stack them together this works for dragging items in and dropping them or using the quick deposit huge change villagers can now open doors rams now have more health thrusters balloons switches wheels now give resources back when destroyed fried eggs take less time to eat eating foods with a lower value stamina regen buff no longer overrides higher value buffs you already have fix an issue where food wouldn't fill the correct amount of hunger fix an issue where players would sometimes spawn under buildings that's not true i spawn under my building still you'll no longer spawn on top of a cave after you exit lego fortnite inside of one there's a respawn button that now works correctly they fixed a rare bug that prevents players from jumping after respawning chests no longer appear to float in the air when you load into a world boulders no longer change locations when you load into a world i have no idea what boulders do and i don't think they're very useful destroyed crafting stations will no longer reappear sometimes when you load into a world they basically patch the duplication glitch that's okay attacks will hit and damage the enemies more consistently sheep cows and chickens will no longer walk over fences meaning you can now make farms nearby creatures will no longer accidentally get eliminated when a player does they fix the invisibility glitch on items in a chest villagers will now actually do their metal smelter job if assigned village squares will no longer get accidentally destroyed when you put something next to it fix an issue where stations could lose items that they process during the rain fix an issue where grasslands biome sometimes make players too hot or too cold when starting a new world bright bomber or cuddle team leader will now follow you to your campsite even if you wander off players are no longer launched too high when they jump attack on a geyser there was like an elevator glitch in the game that people discovered recently that got fixed basically and fix an issue where you sometimes couldn't sprint Sounds like the stamina bug. I'm sorry if that was a lot to get through. I just wanted to make sure I noted everything. They also have a couple more bug fixes, but nothing that I really feel like I need to put in the video. And that's basically it. That's the entire first LEGO Fortnite update. Again, I know that I specifically talked about it, as well as basically everybody on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and I mean, anywhere else you can consume content. Everyone thought we were getting the Rift buy on this update, and that's my fault. I should be more cautious in the future about what I talk about on the channel. Although most of those items still are in the files, meaning 
something that they will probably come eventually. So I wouldn't completely write those things off. I'm sure we're going to get them, especially because we still don't have gold items in the game. Like I said in the intro, I went to my crafting bench and immediately was a little disappointed. But now that we've gotten through all of the update, what do you guys think? Also, not making this video a village update, but I did start on this little building here, which is going to turn out to be super, super sick when it's done. It's our first building in our new snow village, and it's going to connect to the water. Don't worry. But I'm thinking that it'll probably be our storage room that'll hold most of our chests and items. Anyway, back to update talk. I'm back in the menu and creating a new world so that you can see that now there's a new option for friendly damage. They added PVP to LEGO Fortnite. The only unfortunate thing is you can't do it in pre-existing worlds. So if you already have an established world, then tough luck. You won't be able to add it unless they change that in the future. But that's the entire update. Let me know what you guys think. Also, when you back out and join into a world now, it's no longer always daytime, which is very tough, especially since when I make YouTube videos, I only record during the day. It basically is going to double the amount of time it's going to take to record every video. I don't know. This update is, uh, you know, they fixed bugs and some other things, but I think that my personal biggest takeaway from this update is the fact that we no longer have the grapple glitch, which is obviously a glitch and it wasn't supposed to be in the game from the start, but we were absolutely spoiled by having it. And now this game is going to feel really, really slow, at least for me and the people that used it. Every single little part of my video that you guys don't see on camera is me traveling from place to place. And the amount of time that it's going to take to travel from place to place is definitely going to increase as well. Another thing is I like the launch pad, but I do feel like it should send you a little bit higher. I mean, I feel like it almost shoots you lower than the geyser currently does. And I don't think that's the greatest change. I would love to see this thing get buffed a little bit. And I don't know what just happened. My glider didn't deploy. Maybe I didn't press space, but I'm going to spawn very far away. I probably should have set a spawn point because it's going to take me about 25 minutes now without a grapple to get back over to the snow where I need to be. So I'm probably just going to end the video here. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the update. I know I said I was going to double upload today, but I thought there were going to be the biomes. So that's why I said that. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another video, though. As always, thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end. It's been your boy Kaz, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.